from the Family Circle Kitchen to your kitchen on Parents TV. I make a lot of chicken in my house. It's my husband's favorite. And I don't know about you, but when I want to make breasts or thighs or wings, I go to the grocery store and get it already all cut up. I never cut up a whole chicken myself. But today we're going to find out how easy that can be. We are here in the Family Circle Test Kitchen with my friend, Senior Food Editor of Family Circle Magazine, Julie Miltenberger. Thank you for having us back. It's always great to see you here. Thank you. And she's not only going to show us how to cut it up, but how to marinate it too. I, I've got to admit that I'm kind of intimidated by the whole chicken. It definitely is a little daunting at first. And if you're a little squeamish, you know, you just have to realize that this is how it starts. When you get the chicken in the store that's already cut up, it starts as a whole bird and someone else is doing that labor for you and you might as well save the money of the labor. So it is cheaper. It is cheaper to buy a whole bird than to buy you know, already cut up parts. Okay, let's get started. Okay, well first we have the whole chicken here. It's about five pounds or so. Okay. And, you know, we just removed the, um, you know, usually they'll put the neck and some of the heart and stuff inside. Today we've removed that and just patted it dry with paper towels so it's a little easier to handle. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna start first by removing the legs and thighs. Okay. So what you're gonna do you can see how there's, you know, it naturally is separated from the breast. So you're mm -hmm. just going to start to cut down through the skin there. So right we kind here. of pull it apart, slice through the skin. And it's also good to start with a very sharp knife. Follow the curve of the shape of the breast. You're going to find that you're going to reveal the joint. So with your hand, mm -hmm. separate the joint of the thigh from the body of the breast. It's going to be a little harder than cutting right through, Why not? you know, just a breast. But My there you go. Leg. There you go. A whole leg. Woohoo! Okay. And so then what we can do is we can separate this the thigh, and you know, if you look at it, you can separate the thigh from okay. the, the leg here, the drumstick, if you will. Okay, perfect. So, once you flip it back over, you're gonna see how there's this natural fat line that occurs between yes. both. So, and that'll, you know, get you right through that next knuckle. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull out this. I'll work on the other one. Resealable bag, yep, but you can just continue with the other thigh there. Just get as much meat as you can off of that. All right, we have our thighs and drumsticks in there, now what? Now we're gonna separate the wings from the breasts. Okay. Okay, so it's kind of the same technique. You're gonna pull it out and start to slice down, and you wanna expose that joint, and then crack it open. This is so much easier than I thought. See, I'm I fast. really was, I was afraid, and I'm not afraid of the whole chicken anymore. Okay, so now we just wanna remove the okay. breasts of the chicken right. from the backbone. So you're just gonna Kind of hold it with the thickest part of the breast down okay. and slice straight down, separating the two sections. And you are going to run into some bone here. I got to give this a little muscle here. And then you can also, instead of a sawing motion, yep. just go straight down. Tough chicken, but we're going to try it this way. Okay, yeah, just give it a little so push there. There we go. And we are free. So now we've got the breasts here. Do we discard this? You could use it to make stock if you want, you okay. know, a base for soups. Okay, so now we're just going to separate the two breasts. So you just want to flip it over mm -hmm. and cut straight down the center of this breastbone. And it's going to take a little bit of strength. So once again, you can rock it and use the power of your chef's knife. There you go. Now you can just slice through the skin very easily. There we go. There we go. And look at that. We've got two nice, Beautiful. large breasts And they're there. big, uh -huh. yeah. Nice chicken breasts. Okay, what I like to do with some of the larger chicken breasts out there now is cut them in half. Okay. So just diagonally, you know, about right in the halfway point. Uh-huh. Just slice on through. So we've got 10 pieces of chicken from from that one bird. It took us, what, 10 minutes? Uh, not even. Any time that you've got raw meat or poultry, you want to wash your hands thoroughly okay. before you start moving on to another project. Clean our surface. Uh, clean our surfaces, clean our hands. So we're going to wash. All right. All clean, and now we're just going to put together a really quick marinade. Great. You can leave it in the refrigerator for an hour, you know, if you can, that's great. If it's a little less, fine too. So this is a teaspoon of adobo seasoning, mm -hmm. you know, it kind of has salt, garlic, a little bit of oregano and pepper. This is two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. Mm -hmm. It adds a really nice brown color as well as that great tangy flavor. Okay, and here we have a quarter cup of white balsamic vinegar. Mm -hmm. It's a, got a little sweetness to it. So if you could just whisk that together for me. Okay. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slowly add in a third cup of olive oil. And this is kind of the lighter olive oil. And it should, you know, blend all together. And so we can just go ahead and pour that into the bag. We're gonna just turn it over a little bit so that the marinade coats all the pieces. Can I squish it? You can squish it a little bit, squish yes. It it's around. always kind of fun to squish it around. Okay. And then um, pop it in the fridge for about an hour or so. It looks fantastic. Tell me how to cook it. 
So what I did here is I used a gas grill mm -hmm. and I started it at medium high heat. Mm -hmm. You could also do charcoal and light, you know, bank up the coals on one side of the grill so that you're going to have a hot zone and then a cooler zone. Okay. So what I did on the gas grill is I just put the chicken skin side down on the grill, covered it and timed five minutes. So then I reduced the heat to low, mm -hmm. flipped the chicken, covered it and then cooked it about another 25 minutes. Thigh, please. Go. Here's a thigh for you. Okay. And I'm going to go for this little point of the breast there. Mm-hmm. It's so juicy. Easy grilled chicken. That is delicious. Thank you so much for having us over. So much fun. This was great. And if you would like more delicious recipes, pick up a copy of Family Circle Magazine or check back with us at Parents TV. Thank you so much for joining us in the kitchen. We'll see you soon. More. Sure.